गुड मॉर्निंग टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास एट इन द प्रीवियस ऑनलाइन क्लास वी हैड स्टार्टेड अबाउट सॉफ्टवेयर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम फंक्शंस ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वी लर्न अबाउट दैट वाज बूटिंग फाइल मैनेजमेंट डिवाइस मैनेजमेंट असेसिंग द वेब टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम नाउ वी विल स्विच ओवर टू योर न्यू टॉपिक्स दे आर कैटेगरीज ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स एंड योर यूजर इंटरफेस Let's start from categories of 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 operating system. Operating system is mostly classified into three categories: standalone, server, and embedded operating system. The operating system which you had used in your computers and on your laptops that is called your standalone operating system. Child, it is not necessary that the same operating system can be used. in all the computer system it always up to the requirement of the user decide that what type of operating system is going to be installed in your computer system right let's start from the standalone operating system as i have told you that computer desktop in your desktop computer and your laptops mostly we install your stand alone operating system or client operating system client operating system is another name of your stand alone operating system your stand alone operating system can be operate with or without a network if internet services are not there still you are able to work with your computer system it can provide or it's up to you if you want to use it uh, internet services your stand alone operating system is mostly available in microsoft window mac os and linux microsoft window is one of the very popular operating system it, uh, in the mid of 1980s the microsoft company uh, shows their first version of the window which was graphical user interface we had learned that there are the two types of interfaces are there one is a character user interface and graphical user interface and the in your computer system the user interface which you are using that is your graphical user interface in this version most of the information was represented in pictorial form like see icons are there then you are able to see the contents that all are your graphical user interface since then microsoft continuously had updated its window operating system incorporating innovative features and function number of windows versions are there windows 7 window 10 window xp window 2000 these all are the versions of your window operating system and window is your stand alone operating system next we have your mac operating system child mac operating system is mostly installed in your apple desktop or in your apple laptops they were released in 1984 to this its user friendly approach Microsoft uh, Macintosh operating system has set up the highest standards for operating system. The Mac OS X is a multitasking operating system that is available only for the computers manufactured by Apple. They are written the same line. They you are allowed to install Mac OS X operating system only in your lab Apple laptops or in your Apple desktop systems. Next we have another operating system which you mostly use that is your Linux operating system. Child, Window is using your Unix operating system and your Linux is a another your Linux is your open source operating system. Mac OS and Window both are your Unix based operating system. Linux is an open source software which means that its code is available free of to the public for use modification and redistribution as uh, i will explain you with it with the help of a um, live example like two teachers are teaching in their different classes one teacher questions may be you find difficult to learn and the another class uh, the teacher who taught you there another section their answers you might feel that they are easier for you to learn so now it's up to your choice 
which one you want to have it where you get the where you get this choice in the linux operating system unix and mac are based uh, their concepts are very clear like mac is only going to be installed in your apple based uh, products and window can be installed in any product but in linux operating system because this is open source the codes can be changed their codes can be modified and redistributed also there are many different distribution of linux with different looks and features are most popular are mint ubiton then fedora fedora these all are the examples of your linux operating system next we have server operating system with the name itself you are easily able to understand that the operating system with support network that is called your server operating system let's see their definition a server operating system is an operating system that is designed specially to support a network to establish a communication between the devices a server operating system it typically resides server and a client now what mostly the concept arise here that all the information is stored in your server server is a main computer where the information is stored and the rest of the systems are connected with your main server right these all systems are connected with the main server what client these they all are the systems only they all are the computers only why they are named as a client because your uh, system which is connected to the server they mostly send the request to the main server and the main server fulfill their requirement take the example of your class only if 40 students are in the class then the 40 students are connected with the teacher and if they have any query they will clarify that query to the teacher so clients are the students are the client and the teacher is a server similarly all the systems are connected with the main server they send the request and they will get the reply let's see the term the client computers on the network rely on the server for resources whichever resources are required uh, by the client they send the request to the server and server fulfill their requirement here we have the categories of server operating system windows server only the who manufacture them that all uh, terms are written there windows server developed by microsoft windows server enables organization to manage applications and website on uh, websites on site and on the cloud next is your os server this is again your apple os x server it also helps you to organ uh, enables organization to collaborate share files host websites and mail server we had learned that window can be installed in any of the computer but mac operating system can be installed in only the apple products similarly window server is mostly used in your window based operating system and os x uh, operating system os x server is used in your apple operating system next we have unix and linux these are multi purpose operating system because they both are stand alone and server operating system next is solaris solaris is a version of unix developed by sun microsoft it is a server operating system designed specially for e-commerce applications e-commerce applications can be your amazon flipkart these all are your e-commerce applications novel network it is a server operating system designed for client and server network netware support open source uh, open source software open source software was your linux and runs on all the types of computer from main frames to the personal computer and the last version or the last category of server operating system is your bharat operating system solution it is easy to use version of linux developed by cdac india next operating system which you have that is embedded operating system embedded operating system is mostly that operating system which we install in your mobile phones the, 
let's see the definition the operating system on the mobile devices and many consumer electronics any elect uh, consumer electronics we use your mobile operating system or embedded operating system these operating system resides in the rom chips mobile operating system typically include or support calendars contact management text messaging email these all are the um uh, facilities which are available in your phone like digital camera media player speech recognition gps navigation a variety of third party ap uh, applications a browser uh, and wireless connectivity such as cellular wifi and bluetooth the example of embedded operating systems are your google android android is an open source linux based operating system used in used uh, used in the products which are designed by google next we have iphone operating system iphone operating system is mostly used in your apple products uh, see they have written also that mobile operating system specially made up for the apple mobile devices supported devices include iphone ipad or ipod touch next we have blackberry operating system blackberry operating system is mostly installed in your blackberry uh, mobile phones next we have window windows phone window operating system is specially developed for your windows uh, mobile for example your nokia lumia mobile phones which were there in all that mobile phones uh, we installed your windows operating system or windows based embedded operating system child last topic of your chapter is the user interface now user interface is doing what it allows allowing you to entering the data and getting the output and we had learned also that the user interface is available in two categories one is your gui and next is your cui G gui is your graphical user interface and cui is your character user interface. there are some principles of user interface we have the user interface some principles are there first is your user familiarity your whichever the interface you are using that should be user oriented or the whichever the user is using that interface that user is a familiar with that term whether it is a graphical user or a character user the uh, see user oriented terms and concept rather than computer com concepts like we uh, like take the example of your machine language machine language is based on your character user interface the terms of zeros and ones and the abbreviations some uh, in your assembly language we use abbreviations the program uh, the expertise the people who are expertise in programming they might be very familiar with that term but that uh, character user interface is not a user oriented terms because that language is not easily understandable for the user for example in uh, take the see an office system should use concepts such as letter document folder etc rather than directories files identifiers etc next we have consistency the system should display an appropriate level of consistency commands and menus should have the same format commands punctuation should be similar consistency means that this uh, if i had installed window version in my computer the same window version if i install in the another computer the same in that case see i will get the same format i will get the same commands and same menu next we have recoverability recoverability means the backup the system should provide some flexibility to user user errors and allow the user to recover from errors like everyone is not very uh, professional with the computer system some people are like us also the one who are not very good with the computer system so in that case the user interface should provide a flexibility to to the user errors errors means mistakes and allow the user to recover from 
error. This might include undo facility, undo, redo, confirmation of critical actions, etc. Next, we have user guidance. User guidance is like if I'm not familiar with a specific term, I'm easily able to get the reference or the clear idea about that command with the system itself. Here, user guidance. Some user guidance such as health system, online manuals, etc. should be supplied by the user interface. And the last principle is your user diversity. The interface should provide appropriate interaction facilities for different types of user for the uh, types of systems user. Diversity is like if I want to run the create the document along with it, if I want to listen to the music or to do the another activity that is easier for me to do it. Next we have that is history of user interface. Shall here the history of the user interface is given. In the past machines were run in batch mode where users submitted tasks and they can they ran automatically with the shift towards interactive computing designing good user interference became more important in early uh, in the end of 70s and early 80s computer had compute command line interface that was your command user interface where user would type commands to do any task some technical users still find them very useful because the one who are familiar with the command line interface they find it that is easier for them but some ordinary users consider command line interface difficult to use because they required exact spelling c they required exact spelling grammar punctuations their minor errors such as missing period generate or an error message usually not consider the first gui was developed by in 1917 by xerox corporation corporation although gui did not became become popular arrival of apple macintosh in 1984 stunned the computer world with the graphical user interface which means that apple macintosh was the first officially was the first officially your xerox corporation was there but after introduction of uh, gui by mac apple macintosh the users were became very familiar with the term graphical user interface or the people become very familiar with the term graphical user interface people found it easy to use and it became popular user did not have to type any command for any action instead they choose options from icons and pushing and pull down menu or by using pull down menu child for from there onwards most of the people started using gui user interface now most of the software manufactured focus on the term only that was a graphical user interface let's see your types of user interface they also mentioned that there are two types of uh, user interface we mostly use one is your graphical user interface and next is your command line user interface in a command line user interface like the term which we had discussed in your previous paragraph that a command line user interface a user type commands and press special keys on the keyboard to enter data and instructions it gives user more control to manage a detailed setting while working with the command line user a command line interface the set of commands used to control actions called command language mostly Network administrators and other advanced users work with command line interface. They can configure device, manage system, resources, troubleshoot, network connection, 
chat and the best example of command line interface is your disk operating system or dos in the simple terms in a command line user interface or command line interface the command you user need to type the commands and the, or the special key to enter the data and instruction you need the expertise in that language in that uh, interface and mostly you will have to use exact spelling exact grammar and exact punctuation or command line user interface some of the advantages of character user interface or command line user interface is given there the user is in direct communication with the computer here the indirect communication is not there the uh, proper terms is used and the user is directly communicating with the computer the user is not restricted to the number of predefined options the options are not limited n number of options are there if you know the exact uh, command if you know the exact key then you are easily able to use that uh, option it is possible to alter computer configuration setting the settings of the computer can also be changed with the help of command line interfaces working on uh, command line interface is faster than graphical user interface because in command line you have the direct communication with the computer last advantage is it is easy to interchange with scripting or coding and other programming interfaces last we have or the second category of the user interface which we have that is your graphical user interface with the graphical user interface you can interact with menu icons and visual images such as buttons and other graphical object to issue commands there what we were doing there we were using the we were typing the commands or we were using the special key to enter the instruction here we are simply dealing with your menus icons and visual images with graphical user interface user don't have to type commands for any action because everything is given in the form of pictures on the text contents this action can be done by the single mouse click graphical user interface can become has become necessary for most for of the operating system the most commonly used graphical user interface is are your microsoft windows mac os ubuntu next some graphical user operating systems also provide access to command line interfaces like disk operating system is a basic your command line interfaces and uh, why they had said that uh, some operating system provide access to command line interface also because it helps you to change the settings or the pre uh, settings of the computer system the graphical user interface designed for touch input is called touch user interface some operating system for desktops and laptops and many operating system for mobile devices have a touch user interfaces and your touch whenever you are touching the screen and you are getting the output that is also based on your graphical user interface interface only there are some characteristics and advantages of your graphical user interface your uh, characteristics are window multiple windows allows a different operations to be uh, displayed simultaneously on the user screen like whichever the window you are using in the one system they are the user friendly next icons helps you to easily identify the terms or it helps you to display the different type of information whether it's a file whether it's a folder whether it's your software that all the information you will get through the uh, icons then menu commands uh, allows you to select the particular menu and to get the uh, output pointing a pointing devices like the mouse helps you to make a single click or double click to get your desired output and graphics graphical element can be mixed with the text on the same display advantages are they are the graphical representation which is easier for the beginners to understand next user can interact with the software or devices through graphical icons no need to learn complicated commands for any task in the command line interface we have to learn the commands we have to know about 
the special keys functioning of special key but here we are simply doing everything with the help of single click or the double click then clicking an icon is easy and quicker than having a type of type in every command easier to navigate we are easily able to find a particular icon or the particular file or the particular folder the user may switch quickly from one task to another and can interact with several different applications and the last advantage is the user will get benefits of why swing that what you see and what you uh, the same thing you will get what you see is what you get so now we will review what we had gained from the given chapter we learned about uh, standalone operating systems we learned about the categories of operating systems we learned about user interface softwares operating systems functions of operating systems types of operating systems these all terms we had gone through in this chapter so child in the next upcoming class we will revise the whole chapter once again in the meantime please go through the chapter thoroughly and try to answer the back exercises questions especially which i mentioned on the page number 12 and page number 13 stay home stay safe and save lives